And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Simic Ramp. We have a donation deck here where we're, where we're going to be playing best of three and then the rest of our decks we're going to be playing best of one today because it is best of one day Monday. So we're going to be doing that and we have one historic deck at the end of the um, at the end of the stream tonight, which is going to be Mardu Knights, as you see there. And this is going to be my last stream until our new computer. You know, so we, you know, the the last part for the new computer is supposed to come in tomorrow. Then I'll be taking tomorrow off to build it, and Wednesday should have, um, as as um, as long as everything goes well, Wednesday we'll have the new computer, and hopefully the lag issues will completely go away and everything that'd be really nice um but first we got simic ramp that's what we're going to be leading off with here um you know nothing nothing too uh well i shouldn't say that i shouldn't say that i'll go back to this all right so we have our our early ramp cards grow spiral leafkin druid grow spiral is just a this is a card here that is a it's still probably just an underrated card when people think of the most powerful cards in the format and the cards that cards that have really shaped standard since Ravnica Allegiance. Like basically ever since this cards came out, it's completely shaped what standard has looked like. This is just such a powerful card. If you think about from um, just the Simic Reclamation decks that were dominating in in uh, in its like in uh, Ravnica Allegiance time whenever it came out, uh, to moving on to like. All just all the various like flash and, and ramp strategies and your field of the deads and all sorts of stuff. And you know, I had another great weekend at the Mythic Championship here with all the Simic decks, and it's just such a powerful card. It's really, really good that that thing's an instant. But anyway, we got that thing as as a two drop. So basically what I'm saying is you people probably don't think of Grow Spiral when they think about like the five best cards in standard, but it routinely has been right up there. Um Anyway, you know, like we're doing Risen Reef stuff, but Risen Reef's kind of our only elemental in here. We have like Leafkin Druid and we have Mu Yanling that can make an elemental. We don't have any uh, Cavalier of Thorns, so we're not going. We're not going with that. We're going with Mu Yanling instead. You may see we have a couple of Incubations. Um, this this thing can just be a, a good removal spell with the incongruity, but then also we can just look for, um, you know, kind of dig and look for a creature. We can go dig for another. Uh, Risen Reef, if we want to be going with that. If we're in the late game, we can go grab a Hydroid Crisis to draw lots of cards. <clears throat> or, of course, we can also find our Agent of Treachery and our End Race Forerunners are a couple of top end options there. End Race Forerunners is pretty sweet. Another one that we have here is Repudiate. Now, we probably won't be using the Repudiate part too often. Maybe we get like a fabled passage from somebody from like a, a greedy man base that we uh, can get a, a fabled passage from it. But of course, we have the replicate. Mostly, the replicate is going to be for Risen Reef trying to copy that thing. Finale of Devastation is going to be a five mana Risen Reef a lot of the time. Um, but then also, you know, later on, we're getting Endrace Forerunners to finish stuff out. And of course, Nissa is our main ramp spell. Man, I did, I forgot to change the forest. That's unfortunate. I thought I changed everything, but I forgot to change the forest. But we're already in our league, so. Oh, well, we're going to play our league. We're going to be playing until we win five or lose two. Let's get to it. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, Cube. Yeah, we could save Repudiate for an Ulamog trigger. Probably won't have Ulamog triggers, but we could play against somebody who's playing like Agent of Treachery, and we could um, get rid of an Agent of Treachery trigger. Or Planeswalker Ultimates are always fun ones to get. You know, they ult ultimate their Nissa, and you're just like, nope, I'll counter that. And then they're all sad. Yeah, Quasi Duplicate does a better job of Replicate for sure. It may have been, you know, this is a donation deck that, that may have been just a wild card choice that, that the person that donated had repudiate replicates and didn't doesn't have quasi duplicates. That's certainly possible. Do 
we get a match? Yeah. Ready. Hmm. All right, we can deal with this. I kind of like the whole hand. There isn't really a card that I necessarily want to put back. I think we need to use Incubation to try to look for Leafkin or Risen Reef to kind of get the party started. And then if we do find Risen Reef, having Replicate for it would be really nice. Um, we can just put the Replicate back, though, kind of assuming we don't find it, I suppose. I guess we're going to do that. Hmm. We did not find it. So we'll have Mu Yanling on three here. Looks like we got a mirror type match here. Do not challenge a raging river. Hmm. They missed a land drop, huh? Quell your temper. So I can I can go like just put the four four into play. I think it's just going to be a better choice for me just to to go for the ultimate, though. Simic decks like this don't usually do a whole lot of attacking. No, you do not gain life whenever a negative power creature attacks. Nope. It's, it's just treated as zero. Never seen the emblem? It... It's just kind of like, you know, just kind of sits over here. Does it? There's no sweet animation, basically. But yeah, we can draw a card for each island. All right. Well, they look. I mean, I'm going to have an emblem, but they're pretty far ahead anyway with them having Risen Reef and me having nothing. We'll see if a Mu Yanling emblem can handle that. Every drop tells a story. So I have one, two, three, four, five... I cannot go grab. No. Don't pass. Click. I just clicked the wrong one over here, and I try to re-click it. All right. I guess I'm just drawing more cards. Bleh. <laughs> yeah, we need double emblem. Double the emblem, double the draw. So I could have gone finale for a Risen Reef. Could have done that. I don't know. We will 
will prevail. Oh, the greatness of Risen Reef. I wish we were playing a card that good. I've drawn a lot of cards, and my opponent's drawn 12 more cards than I have. <laughs> At least we've gone through 12 more cards. I guess they didn't technically draw all of them because of Cavalier. We just can't get enough bodies in play for this Endrace Forerunners. Yeah, it could have gone double 3-3 three, three Hydra, but I think we need the Hydras at least bigger than their their lands. I don't like making the Hydras the same size as their lands. Because that's a good sign for us. They upkeep Scryed 2 to the bottom. That's a good sign. They don't have a great hand. They have 20 mana here. That's not including this thing adding an additional mana. They've already spent four mana, or five mana. They still have additional 20. I mean, the worst case scenario is they have they have Endrace Forerunners because we died. Next worst case scenario is Agent of Treachery. Then we die. Agent Quasi Duplicate. So Krasis wasn't on the list of worst case scenarios, or at least the, the top two worst case scenarios. Nature's true power. Now. It was a complete waste, though.
So I can't kill Cavalier for obvious reasons. They go they go grab Finale back. Oh man, my computer is really not acting well today. Phonage Factory, please. that time of the month again. Keep up the great quality content time. I guess there's not not the word great in there. Just keep up the quality content. Thanks, Phonage Factory. Thanks for that reset. Alright, just fighting through this lag for one more day. Yeah, dropping frames all the time. It's just that's going to be happening. All right, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Mana is what we can have. Let's start with this. Does not give my creatures haste, huh? That gives my creatures haste. Was that even game? That was not game. I could just block. Like, I was still dead there. Hmm. Of course, I only have the one un un I only have the one end race four runners. Didn't they just get to block? This doesn't give trample. I don't know. Maybe it was game. I did. I, w I wasn't thinking it was game. Even if I took the eleven eleven, because the eleven eleven wouldn't get to attack. Yeah, this is best of one day Monday, but I have a we're playing a donation deck right now. So we have one donation deck, then we're gonna be getting to best of, then we're doing the best of one the rest of the day. Yeah, their hydroid would not be able to attack, as far as I know. So they had one block. Maybe it was still lethal. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I could view the battlefield. Okay, yeah, they're at 24, because they're going to take 16 from Krasis, so then, yeah, that is lethal. Yeah, that is lethal. I, I, would, add th I would add three attackers. Their creature doesn't gain haste. But still, with the Krasis having trample... They weren't able to just, you know, block the... Yeah, with the, the crisis being 16 trample, 
That means they would have had nine, and then the two two attackers were both over nine. Oh man, I'm so excited about the new PC. Uh, this is it's a beating to fight through these. On my end, you know, on my end it's just slow g gameplay, but on your end it, it just the screen freezes some, and it, I know it's kind of a beating to fight through it. So I'm certainly excited about new PC. How do we win? I cast Finale of Devastation for 10 and went and grabbed an Agent of Treachery and stole their one of their two blockers. Yeah, uh, there's the new PC if you know PC stuff. I have it all here except for the case. I could I could show I could show y'all the the boxes, I guess. And the stuff. I've had it all since Thursday except for the case. Nope. Yep. There we go. Which cannot protect itself. The land fights for us. Ow. That's pretty good. Yeah, yes. Shaper, I had three attackers, yes. The land shall but conquer. my opponent's my opponent's Hydro Crisis did not have haste, like whenever we, we would have stolen it with Agent of Treachery because it wasn't in play for us at the time. Yeah, they were on the play, and they yeah they got to play Nissa. Like we were both had turn four Nissa, or no, yeah turn four Nissa. Yeah, we both had turn four Nissa, but they they got to play Nissa and then have Ethergust also on turn four, and they were on the play, so I got to play their Nissa first. So yeah, that's just most likely game, and hopefully us on the play will have Nissa first next time.
I really do feel like I should be playing like Negates and Mystical Disputes. I'm gonna do that. All right, I guess I'm just I'm just gonna play a couple of mystical speeds instead of those incubations. I feel like they kind of have like a stronger ramp game than I do, and I need need these to try to even the playing field. Well. Well, not much to do about these hands. I mean, obviously, we're going to keep this and try. We're going to just hope to draw a blue land, hope the Risen Reef hits more lands. They're on five. But I can't cast anything, so... All right, we're in there. Okay, we're, we're back in it. Yep, this is standard. I can't complain too much, I suppose. Because we did get that island to the land be in the game. So if they have a crisis, we get to counter the them drawing a whole bunch of cards, at least. Which they're probably not expecting with my f basic forest available right here. Raging Nomad! Converting that sub, thank you so much. I don't know what they're doing over here. Not activating castle. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I'm 
make sense. Why good game? This game's not over. At all. So the difference here, if if I let if I have Nissa take it, she goes down to two, which means that each one of these lands will be lethal the next turn. So that's pretty valuable having Nissa at three. I guess I could try to make... So I can do Hydrocrasis for 6 plus cast Risen Reef. Or I could I could do Hydrocrasis for 8. So Hydrocrasis kills the Nyssa next turn. So I guess we should do that. And at this point, we're just going to go 9. Because then I'm not going to use this extra mana now. Oh, cool. We get to hold up a repudiate. That's awesome. That was that was probably my best draw. <laughs> it was nine they, nine mana. They spent nine nine mana for that T three. Yeah, nine mana T Yeah, that was a sick repudiate. Repu your repudiate looking great in this matchup. Stop saying good game. We're in the middle of a game. The land shall conquer you. It's certainly not over on either side. Not saying they're like good game. This time they they draw crisis and play a big crisis. I mean, I just kept them from drawing three cards. That's all I did with repudiate there. Just kept them from drawing three cards. This was a great turn for us, these, all these Risen Reefs. Fortitude. 
The last part that I need comes tomorrow. So I'll be building it tomorrow. It got delayed in shipping. Everything else came Thursday. Last Thursday. Just the case got delayed. Be wary of the ground you walk on. All right, want to know. Repudiate did a lot for us there. Countering that agent of treachery trigger as well as um, keeping them from drawing three off the crisis. Those are a couple of good... Um, Couple of good repudiates there. Um, I've had this PC for um, about between three and a half and four years, about halfway between that. I will not be doing a, a stream build in the PC now. Yeah, there's there's no tea, Lukey. Um yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Mana traders. Yeah, the the yeah the mythic championship qualifiers and those here on arena. Whenever those come up every like once a set. Um, yeah, I play in those. Yep. Sure do. So we need to draw more lands, of course. We are a 27 land deck. So good chance that we're going to be drawing more lands. And then we can dance among the sky. Hmm. Let's go with the Leafkin Druid. Leafkin can be a good blocker for Mu Yanling if need be. Yeah, basically, um, yeah, basically there's, yeah, so how it works is you have to be in the top 1,200 and ranked in either standard or limited during a, a season, which is a month, so in a month to get qualified for it, and, oh man, should I just play Girl Spiral and try to hit a land for Nyssa? Nah, let's play Mu, Mu Yanling. Um, so, and then they have it like once once a set, and so it's basically once every three months as they have one of those qualifiers. So it's so it's a lot of people that qualify for it. So people are in the top twelve hundred for like the three months leading up into it. Um, and then then you play that, and you play just like ten rounds of it's like ten rounds of Swiss to make day two, and then they take like the top. Usually, like, 128, I think, to make day two. And then... Um, and then in day two, basically, it's kind of like a cut to a top eight, but it's... I think it was, like, ten or so the last time. It's around that. Uh, basically, about ten people qualify each time. So you don't have to win the whole thing. But about ten people qualify after day two 
my elemental friend. And then those ten people go to a mythic championship. Which I think I think they play like an online mythic championship, I think. Which are basically the yeah, the new PTs. <laughs> yes, this is yes, this is a this is a dress shirt and a tie. Yes, but yes, it's it's a shirt or a dress shirt. Um Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could do Krasis for six. But then I'm tapped out besides Krasis for six. Behold, nature's true power. Oh, I thought we weren't going to get a land there. We barely got a land. Bow to the howling winds. So I could make like the one spell breaker a one one, and then be able to have my six six block the four four. But just in case there's like pump effects or anything, I'll just make it so they don't have a a four four as well. <laughs> no, I don't wear a dress shirt and tie to a gym. No. Um, I don't think I, I... No, I never... I haven't really come close. I started off... I think I've played like three or maybe four of them. I like the last one I played, I started off four and O, oh, but... Or maybe five and O. Oh, I don't remember. But no, we didn't, didn't, qu didn't quite get there. All right, so no, no more Greenlands, huh? So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one mana off, stealing everything. No, tap this thing. I guess I didn't need to actually tap that thing. Can use incubation. Learn some respect. All right. Shadowfall, thanks for the tier one sub. What's the best best of one deck? Hmm. It may just be Jun's Sacrifice. Just the deck that won the Mythic Championship this past weekend, honestly. That's a very good best of one deck. Um, Jeskai Fires is also a really good best of one deck. Um, Azorius Control is pretty good. <laughs> no, Tay, you're not the only one seeing lag for the stream. No, y'all, as y'all know, this is, this is the last stream that we're going to have with this laggy computer, hopefully, as long as everything goes well. Should have a new computer the next time I stream. You're welcome, Bertilux. Anyway, what are we playing against again? Oh yeah, Gruel. All right, Ether Gust, Beast. Ceratops can do some blocking. Hmm. Do I want? I don't think I really want incongruity. Would it be crazy to just play Return to Nature's because of Embercleave? Like, what if I just, like, take out Risen Reef because it's too small and play a couple of Return to Nature's? It's 
Probably not crazy at all. Probably smart. Uh, the the new PC specs are there. No, I I'm gonna be using the same PC for streaming and uploading. I uh, talked about. I definitely talked about uh, maybe doing different. You know, having like the two PCs, but um, basically the one the one PC that I'm getting should be able to handle it all. Can a Hydra deck do okay in the metagame? It'd be just very similar to what my opponent was playing and what I'm playing here. Um, you know, you're basically just playing, instead of playing stuff like Cavalier Thorns and things like that, you'd just be playing Voracious Hydras to go along with your um, Hydroid Crasises. Those are really the two best Hydras. The six mana Hydra is a reasonable card, but it's not... It's not super necessary. Yeah, that's true. Negate would be able to take take out Domri's Ambush as well. But you do have to have the open mana. You know, you have to time the Negate well, where we could be tapped out, and they could get, like, one attack with Ember Cleave, and then we untap and return to nature. It... Hmm... I'm going to go with the Growth Spiral here because of... Um, because of Domri's Ambush. Then maybe if I if I play the Leafkin Druid, maybe they would have had Ambush to kill the Druid. Or now if they have Ambush to kill the Druid, I can Aether Gust the Goblin. Well, they need lands. This is probably just going to get rid of this thing for good. Yeah. We will not fail. Harness the elements. They're looking at the cards in their hand quite a bit. Yeah, well, the new PC is not just for Arena. It's for, it's for like the, Do not test me. you know, recording and encoding and doing all that kind of stuff and um, uploading and doing all that with YouTube and everything too. All right, two now. Moving on, moving on along. Down, down, down. Ugh. 
So this is our, our one deck. Again, if you're just kind of joining, this is our one deck that we're playing today that's going to be best of three. And then we'll be doing best of one, which... Because um, first, it's best of one day Monday, but it's also kind of better on my PC because the games are faster. I haven't liked this Blast Zone at all, but we haven't. I guess we haven't played against Witch's Oven, which is what, really what the Blast Zone's for. But it's looked pretty awkward all, all the time. Come on. Play the Risen Reef. This looks like, um, Soul Tie Ramp that we played the other day. The list from Luis Salvato. Man, y'all want to see a good repudiate? Uh, nope. Do not draw three. Do not collect $100. Do not pass go. There's, I guess $200. This repudiate's been awesome. We've countered Hydroid Crisis, drawn a bunch of cards, Gadwick drawn a bunch of cards, we've countered Agent of Treachery, stealing our thing. So I got three, six, nine mana right now. I need 12 for Finale of Devastation. Do they have a repudiate? Counter me drawing a bunch of cards with Krasis? No, they do not. That's just poor deck building. What? But... I mean, they have to have casualties of war. Right? Like, why don't they just tap the Krasis? The, bla the Blast Zone's my, my literal worst land. My literal worst land. Hmm.
Alright, more lands, more lands. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This will be land number 12. So we do get to finale next turn. Unfortunately, we drew the end race forerunners, which is obviously the card we want to finale for. There you go. Good job, CV Sack. 6 and 2 with your draft so far. Good job. Yeah, there's a lot of um there's a lot of variance with drafting. You know, you're saying you don't think you're good at drafting, you're doing really well. That happens. Sometimes you you think you're really good at drafting and you lose a bunch i mean there's a good amount of variance of like what you open and stuff but um yeah it's a, it's a great way to get better at magic it's it's probably the best way to get better at magic is with drafting the land fights for us. oh yeah that's true i should have just discarded the end race forerunners and just grabbed it from the graveyard good call good call i should, probably should have just done that anyway i guess we have five six seven eight i could steal four things we could also just do that. Uh, you, 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 and you. Thank you. Yeah, or I could have finaled for agent and taken something. That seemed good enough. So definitely want negate. Their whole game plan is ramp, Nissa, Krasis, Gadwick, Casualties of War. That's their whole game plan. Nissa, Krasis, Gadwick, Casualties of War. So definitely want to negate for Nissa and Casualties of War, especially the second card. Dispute can counter Gadwick and Krasis if they tap out, which they likely will, right? Like if they're casting Krasis and Gadwick, they're probably tapping out, right? So we probably just want these disputes to counter those two. Let's do that. Thanks, MSG. The next set release is January 24th, I believe. I don't know if that's like the, the regular release or the arena releases. I believe it's the... 24th on Arena, I think. But it could be a couple days off. I'll get you in the ballpark, though. Bay of Wishes would be okay for this deck for best of one. I think best of three, you want, like, a real sideboard. But best of one where you don't have access to the sideboard, having getting access to it is valuable, and so then Bay of Wishes is more valuable there. The list we're playing here is similar to Manguchi's deck, um, but it's it's a little different. It's it's kind of like that, but it has um, has card choices for what it's kind of like budget restraint card choices, I guess. I don't for we have cards that the person that do, like this is a donation deck. The per, the we have some choices for what they had in their account. I don't know why it's. I'm struggling to speak so much. I think I just let I think I'm just gonna let them have 
this. Hmm. Maybe not. No. The thing is, is like that that counter spell, like countering that is not. That's not ideal if they have. Sorry, if if they have um, Hydroid Crisis or Gadwick, I would have rather countered those, especially Gadwick. I don't know. I mean, I should just let them have it. Because if they have, I was gonna say like, because if they have Casualties of War, though, I wouldn't be able to counter the Casualties anymore because they would have too much mana. But they're just gonna have too much mana anyway. And and obviously, I don't have my dispute anymore. So maybe I should have just let it go. What's up, Sothian? I don't know. That card's just one of their best cards. Circuitous route. Thanks for that resub, Sothian. 14 amazing months. Thank you, thank you. So there we go. They wanted to play around Mystical Dispute. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I could finale for 10, but I'm not really... So I could finale for 10, but then I'm not really attacking with anything else. Cool. Just Crisis for 10 instead. And set up the finale for 10 the next turn where I'll, where I'll have like the more multiple creatures to attack with. Ravnica, Allegiance, pack. Let's crack a pack. Hmm. Yeah, dispute can get bad whenever yeah whenever they start ramping like that. But the thing about dispute is it it keeps even in that kind of matchup because they're they're relying on Krasis and Gadwick. Dispute can still counter those when they tap out, especially Gadwick if they just try drawing tons of cards. So you can still kind of keep them in check a little bit, at least if they don't pay or if they want to hold up mana for dispute, at least you make them draw. Three less cards with Gadwick for just having Dispute in your deck. Yeah. Eh. I'll give it a try. No, it's not Organic Chicken. It's coming tomorrow. At least the last part's coming in the mail tomorrow. It is, Eddie. Ed Edder, sorry. Yes, Edder it is. Hey, Vindrin, doing good, doing good. Hmm. All right, Elemental. Elemental. Mommy, fifth month. Thank you so much there, Mommy. So I could shock to keep repudiate available in case they had fable passage here. So I missed out on that.
they're debating, probably debating whether to play Teferi or hold up counter magic. Maybe a prison realm. Alright, holding up counter magic. Could definitely be just wasting this replicate, of course. I'm perfectly fine with that getting countered over my other stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got that I got that one too. I've gotten those seven. Okay, so let's see. Many have challenged me over the ages. I'm getting too old for this. Do not challenge a raging river. Does anybody have the the other arm? The other snowman arm? If you wish to surrender now, hone your prowess. So, of course, Moon Yanling doesn't match up that well against a fairy because we make a token. Then they can bounce said token. You cannot see me fall. The sky is my domain. Ah, a lot of people do have the, the right arm. Thanks, Vindarin. Yeah, it's a deck master that allows you to, to scroll over the cards and see what they do. It's, it's definitely really nice. Ah, Fluky has them all. Yeah, there are a ton of ways to draw cards that don't actually draw cards. Because you can only draw one. Well... That's fine. We'll put we'll just put cards from our library into our hands, but that's not drawing cards. And don't worry about the difference. <laughs> we're not we're not drawing. Just just trust me, we're not drawing. We're just putting cards from the library into our hands. Trust me, I have a plan. Meditate and prepare. Ooh, they went risky trying to Nature's true power. Oh, I guess I should have attacked first, shouldn't I? Right, because that was, that was going to be a 1 3. Right, I could have attacked a fairy for 3. They went risky trying to draw a land. So they, they got all spells over there. I got all spells over here. Neither of us are playing lands. We're both part of the five land um, establishment, I don't know, association. Both card carrying members of the five land association. My 
might be a bad idea. No, planar cl cleansing does not kill our land creatures. I'm hoping I get to ultimate Mu Yanling. Yay. Well, definitely should have done that during upkeep, not during main phase. Open your mind to the possibilities of the cosmos. Definitely could just considering instead of playing the big hydroid crisis, I could have just played Agent of Treachery and stolen their Teferi, and then they don't get to play instance. Yeah, not too surprised about that though. All right. That was the main reason why I didn't you know, like Teferi. I thought they'd probably just be playing a planar cleansing. Try to get rid of that Nissa anyway. All right. Well, we're four and zero. Oh. All right, before we get to the final boss, I'm going to go ahead and reset Arena. Try to help out with lag problems just a tad bit. It doesn't really help too much, though, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if they wanted to play a real fast match, probably don't want to play Azorius Control. I don't know if they were thinking that I was playing too slow or something, but they did have Azorius Control. And I had, you know, obviously, like, with... With like my my blue lands tapping to draw cards. Oh, look at this roar of the world. Oh, look at that cute little kitty. That thing's a five five, but it's so happy. All right, here we go. Final boss time. We're four and zero, so we have an extra life. Got to get in that final boss mood. If you don't have any Moon Yanlings, uh, you can just play Cavalier of Thorns. This deck, um, the the person that donated for it said that they would rather be playing Cavalier of Thorns than Moo Yanling, but didn't have Cavaliers and played Moo Yanlings instead. 
But the Moon Yandlings have been good for us. They really have been. <laughs> no, I didn't mean... I guess I didn't mean that, that in order to be a big creature, you have to be unhappy. But just as just a cute little adorable happy cat, it didn't seem like a 5-5. Five five. I don't have any Cavaliers either. Well, just fill in with whatever you got. Yep, that's why we got the extra life sleeves. Because, yeah, we got an extra life for the final boss. Perfect sleeve choice. Elemental kitty over here. Speaking of cats. <laughs> I always like how happy the dragon looks. Like after he does this, his little shake there. <laughs> his little dance. Well, there's there's still other things we have in the list that that Mangucci doesn't have. Like, I don't think Mangucci has Replicate, Repudiate, or Incubation, Incongruity. But yeah, I could tell that this is based off of Mangucci's list. Is it still worth putting a lot of wild cards into the older sets or just save up for what I... For what I need still in Eldrain and then the next set. Probably probably just that. Probably just save up for what you need in Eldrain and the next set. I mean, it, like first and foremost, you want to be able to kind of put together decks that you want to play. But yeah, all the sets that are older than Eldrain, those cards will be legal and standard for about nine more months. Ten more months? About ten more months. Till probably about the end of next September. So about, about ten more months. Cards in Eldrain and the next set and the next like Eldrain will be legal for the next twenty-two months. Like where, you know, it's gonna be an entire year also added on. So getting cards in if you know if you have limited wild cards, getting getting the cards in Eldrain and the sets moving forward is definitely more valuable because they'll be legal for much longer. Do, do, do. I will aid you. Behold nature's true power. Yeah, but that's exactly J. Gomez. Ten, ten months is still a very long time. So it's not like you, you should just shy away from older cards. Because, yeah, ten months is still a really long time. No, no, no new PC yet. Last part's coming tomorrow. This is the the last stream with the 
laggy PC. So yeah, no, no Todd tomorrow. I'll be taking tomorrow off. Nerd game, uh, game? No, Gasm? Hmm. Will game. Hey, what's up, nerd? Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub, bringing the hype. I do not, Vizos. Nope. This is what I do full time, is stream, play sweet, magic. Cease the uh, <clears throat> Uh, sweet magic decks and make YouTube videos and stream and, and that's it. So I do every day. <laughs> yeah, if it if it still is lagging on Wednesday with the new PC, I'll be very sad. Definitely. And raise four runners cost eight mana. That's a ripoff. And I have seven. I think it's a good a good a good current metagame. Yeah, there's there's just a lot of different stuff to be doing and and yeah, standard's pretty healthy right now. Yeah, it's an active Dalo. Yeah, I don't use it. Okay, you're glad you moved on from teaching. I I, I, I miss it at times. I like to teach it a lot. But I, I like my I like what I'm doing now more. Of course, but no, I liked it. So yeah, I definitely miss it at times. I guess I could have done Blast Zone. I was just planning on just like stealing their things with mass manipulation anyway and then killing them, but I guess I could have gone Blast Zone and for three, two. I'm just going to be doing the same sideboard I kind of have been doing. I think that this matchup, we really, really have to kill Lucky Clover. I think Lucky Clover is really important. So we're going to be playing all three Return to Natures. 
negate is awesome because all of their adventure creatures they're trying to use the adventure part first and negate just counters all of their spells it, basically everything in their deck gets negated Not sure about this repudiate replicate. Could have taken it out. All right, we just need ramp. We got land drops. We got Nissa. We just need the ramp spells. Let's draw a ramp spell. I mean, I guess I need to be more exact whenever I'm, I want a two or three mana ramp spell. I don't want a 5 mana ramp spell. Jealous. That card's amazing. Do I have temples in this deck? Okay, we have three temples? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've had temples in play. All right, hand didn't, didn't work out with our first three draws not being a, any two or three mana ramp in the top three cards. And the opponent having Lucky Clover. Definitely feels like they're playing like Ether Gust and stuff like that, maybe negates, things like that. Like they've been really keeping mana open. Wow, what a hand what wow. Um I think it's probably better for me to just not play anything next turn. Maybe. Because they have to play Borrower, Fay of Wishes, and Bone Crusher Giant. Hmm. You say if I play nothing, they're going to wish for two counter spells and pass? So if I play Nyssa and untap a forest and use the forest to cast Return to Nature. What's going to happen is my opponent's going to Bone Crusher Giant kill the forest. So the forest is dead. And then they untap and they bounce my Nyssa with Brazen Borrower. And then I just have four lands. And my Nyssa's back in my hand. So instead of having that happen, might as well just keep five lands. Um... 
That is true. Deathless Knight does make great synergy with Great Henge. That is true. That is very true. I've been really happy with the Conclave Cavaliers in that deck, though. Could play Deathless Knight instead of Questing Beast. But the thing is, is like whenever you have, once you have the Great Henge already in play, those are usually the games that we're winning. Wow, that's a pretty greedy, another escape to the wilds. How are they playing all this stuff? Okay, so they have to... So this turn, they still get their two land drops. Or no, no, they already played one land. So they get one more land drop. This turn, they have to play Brazen Borrower and Fae of Wishes. Otherwise, they go away. And then next turn, they have to play Fae of Wishes, Bone Crusher Giant, and Hydroid Crisis. Otherwise, those will go away. Wow, they're just going to have a lot of stuff go away, I guess. But... Clover is pretty nice, though. Obviously. Again, showing how important that is that card is so they'll they'll be able to go clover bone crusher giant kill my land so they have clover bone crusher giant fey Be wary of the ground you walk on. I don't think I let them kill my land. Killing lands is bad. And they just fire those things off. Like, they can just play these cards at any time. Don't they, don't they just want to wait another turn and play all these other things that are going to get exiled? Guess not. Wow. Oh, wait. They have more land drops. Never mind. They still get to Bone Crusher Giant. But still, there goes a Fae of Wishes. They have no regard for playing this stuff on time. That's a great card. That's a really great last card to have. Like they're they're basically just acquiring enough mana they're gonna be using Fey to like steal all my stuff. One Fey's going away though. Here. Unless they just cat hard cast it. Then if they do that, then the Bone Crusher Giant goes away. It is confusing how they don't have like these things kind of set apart, but man, look at all those lands. Crazy. What they use? They had once in future? Yeah, once in future looks sweet. Sorry, excuse me. Well, obviously, if I knew that they were going to have a another Lucky Clover, I would have ticked up on a land the last turn. Yeah, they could definitely be on the Fling Plan. I guess they could definitely be on the Fling Plan. I guess, yeah, the last the last couple times I've played against this deck, they've played a lot of flings. <laughs> I 
I don't think I do anything differently. I think I just try to not have a hand where I do nothing until turn six, like I did there. Like, no ramp until me playing turn six Nissa on the draw. That's not going to be good enough. Yes. Yeah, they had a 16 16 bean stock giant. They just, I'm at 16, and they just fling it, and I, I take 16. Yes, you get one extra turn with Escape to the Wilds. They played three straight Escape to the Wilds. Once they cast something, and it's. And it's then, it, like, once they cast, like, the adventure part, and then the other part gets exiled. The creature part they can still wait on the creature part forever then because that then it's not under the re return of the wilds return to the wilds escape escape from the wilds there we go it's not under the escape from the wilds clause Um. Yeah, the the copies would just fizzle if they don't have other creatures to sacrifice, but the original would still resolve for fling. But they don't they don't copy fling anyway. Like they only copy like the artifact just copies adventure spells. It doesn't copy every instant in sorcery. Okay, so it wasn't just me thinking the opponent was playing slowly. They were. Blast zone still kind of looking bad. Yet again. We need another green source. I did that main phase. Oh no, I guess it didn't matter if I if we hit a temple. I shouldn't have done that main phase. The 27 land deck let us down. Blast zones are killing me. Literally killing me. I 
I mean, I need to be able to play Risen Reef here. But I guess we have to kill this. I mean, best case scenario is we'd be able to play Risen Reef. And then hit a, a green source that we put into our hand and then play the green source and then we could cast the Return to Nature. All right, I, w I would never play this deck again with two blast zones. I would never do that. This is just this is just not acceptable. I know there there are only two blast zones in the deck, but Let's see how many green sources are in the deck. So there's six. There's seventeen green sources in the deck. Yeah, that's not enough. Need to get an eighteenth because we can't really have games like this. So yeah, I would, I would definitely take out a blast zone for a basic forest moving forward. Well, we would have hit said basic forest. I would have done, done that last turn. Well, that was a good turn for us. My opponent's going to have a good turn, too, with double Beanstalk Giants. If they have a Lucky Clover, it could be a huge mess. I'm kind of gambling of not having the Return to Nature to kill a Lucky Clover because we already killed one. This is a good land to throw it as a 3-3, though. So another Brazen Barber. So yeah, two turn clock. Uh, that was a really good. Two cards I want to see the least, a Brazen Barber and Bone Crusher Giant. At least they, they only do, you know, without without Lucky Clover, they only have, you know, it only does two damage, you know, so they can do four damage or do two bounce things. Well, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, Arl, or Arl, BB. Hello, hello. So I can finale for Agent of Treachery, and then I could steal a Brazen Borrower. But the problem with that is they just bounce their Brazen Borrower again with another Brazen Borrower. So that plan isn't spectacular. I could finale for a risen reef. I think that's that's my I think that's my game plan right now. They can shoot down both in play risen reefs though with the bone crusher giants. I'm going to make them act first. Wow. I'm glad they let it resolve. So I get all the triggers. So are they going to be able to, like, so all they need is, like, one more burn spell to kill me? Oh, no, not even just one more burn spell. Yeah, I guess I'm just dead to these Brazen Borrowers. I just don't I don't have like reach in my deck though. So yeah, I guess I was dead to the brazen borrowers. I guess I needed to agent a treachery steal one. I, I guess I had to do that. I guess I couldn't do play the risen reef like I did. That was a so yeah, that was a mistake. Cause I was focused on you know, I was focused on my next turn. I wasn't really I didn't really realize that they were gonna be killing me here and now I just did. Because they just play this and they have nine in the air and they have these things to finish me off. 
So I needed to agent a treachery and steal one borrower. The reason why I didn't do it originally because I knew they were just going to bounce their borrower with their other yeah, they just put it back in their hand, and so I, I focused on killing them the next turn with, like, Finale of Devastation, thinking that they were going to use Bone Crusher Giant to kill my Risen Reefs, but that's not really what the game was about. So I misevaluated what the game was about. Hey, what's up, Mia? No, I can't. I cannot blast zone for three. I have one blast zone on two, one blast zone on. I wish this thing said gain life somewhere. One blast zone on two, one blast zone on one. If only I had one more turn. Mia, thank you so much for that sub. I appreciate that. That's our 10th sub of the day. All right, got a sub goal. Okay, they messed up. Unless they have another, another one of those. Oh, they just had another one in hand. Well, that's unfortunate. The reason I say they messed up because they didn't, you know, like they didn't have lethal until they had another one of those. But they did have a third one of those. Well, like, because of course they needed to play Brazen Borrower. Oh, well, thanks, Mia. So you're leeching off the YouTube channel for too long. Well, hey, that's, I'm glad you're over there watching everything. And yeah, thanks for coming over here and. Using your free Amazon Prime sub. Thank you. All right, so we're four and one. We get a rematch with the final boss. Hopefully one that plays a little bit faster. That was a 40 minute match. Dang. Yep, GG's. That was very, yeah, that was a good match. No, I don't think I'm just going to... I don't think that I would recommend putting Harpooners in, into the deck just because of that one game. These incubations have been pretty bad. Because there's really only two good cards to hit, Leaf Kin Druid and Risen Reef, and it's really hard to hit when looking at five cards when there's only eight, eight good hits. Oh no. A ramp mirror. We don't have ramp. It's not good. Certainly looks like this is the Flash version. I think they're playing Frilled Mystic, Nightpack Ambusher, all that kind of stuff. Yep. They have a great start here. Normally against a counterspell deck, I'd want to wait till next turn and be able to double spell with these Risen Reefs. I'm not going to here though because if they 
if they counter it, then they don't get to Nightpack Ambusher. Basically, I'm you know definitely scared of Nightpack Ambusher, and so kind of forcing a counter spell out of their hands. Questing Beast doesn't deal with Nissa. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say Questing Beast is a good solution to Nissa. It does four damage to Nissa, and then they just make another 3 3, and two lands just kill your Questing Beast. And they go on with their day. That Leaf King Druid was the perfect draw. That gave me, you know, be, letting me double spell, let me wait one turn to be able to get to the Hydroid Crisis here. What do you, Q Warp, what do you want? There's, there's the final boss playlist if, if that's what you're wanting. But yeah, that, yeah, that was a Final Fantasy seven. Boss theme. Or just regular battle theme? One two. Alright, so they're a flash version. They they drew tons and tons of lands, which made my life easier. Nightpack ambusher. Still the scariest thing. Which I guess in I could save incongruity to turn ambusher into a three three. Do get to do that. This can counter a Frilled Mystic trigger. I kind of need to cut four cards. So those are going to go. Okay, yeah, if you want to know the, the song, it's the command is exclamation point song, not exclamation point music. But MTG Got hasn't, hasn't been saying the song recently. It's been off for a few weeks. I wonder if they're going to be aggressive with that. <clears throat> I, of course, could have cast the Gross Brawl during my turn when they were tapped out for the Paradise Druid.
Hey, what's up, guy in shades? Thanks for that resub. And good luck making the new PC tomorrow. Thank you so much. So any advice on Tilt? I find myself getting quite angry while I'm playing at times. I guess the main thing would just be to understand the, that this is a game with variants and there's not everything that you can control. And so instead of instead of necessarily being real focused on wins and losses just always focus on trying to learn and trying to get better and just trying to focus on what what's happening to make yeah, you know, what happened to make you win or lose, and and uh, what can you do about it for next time? And um, and just all of those kind of things. You know, wins are going to come, losses are going to come. Just don't, you know, don't sweat those too much. I like their Nessa. The land fights for us. So hopefully that helps. Play the game to learn and to grow. Daxter, re seven for nine months. Nine awesome months here. Thank you so much there, Daxter. That is our 12th sub of the day. I was behind one. Sure can. Anything can happen. Put your mind to it. Witness the ties that bind us all. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Okay, we did it. We defeated the final boss. Five and one. Oh, I never even updated the record. We were four and one coming into this one. So five and one now. Five win dream. Let's get that victory fanfare. Get all the gold. There we go, five wins. The difference between winning and losing that is we would have only got this small, measly 1,700 gold. But now that we won, we got all of this huge pile of 2,100 gold instead. Such a big difference there. Such an accurate drawing. <clears throat> all right, and there's Simic Ramp. So yeah, no Cavalier or Thorn, no problem. The good part about playing... Let's see, and then this is like a top-end card. This is kind of a top-end card, too. This is really more of over here. 
guess this is more what our curve looked like. The good thing about not playing Cavalier Thorn and playing Mu Yanling instead was that we weren't really as um, reliant on our five mana um, part of our curve. It's definitely troublesome at times, like trying to play like Nissa's and Cavalier of Thorns, like both costing five mana. You know, like that that can be. Um, you can get clogged with a bunch of five mana cards into your hand whenever you play a bunch of Cavalier of Thorns and Nissa's. Do you need a Boreals in your deck? Um, a Boreal Grazer? I don't think so. I'm not. I'm not in love with a Boreal Grazer. There's just so many times. Where, like, a Boreal Grazer is only good if you have an excess number of lands in your hand. If you have, like, a two or even three land hand, you know, Boreal Grazer is not going to be helping you hit hit more land drops. I think the biggest thing is take out a Blast Zone, add in a Forest. That's the biggest thing. And the next biggest thing is I'd probably replace these Incubations. They, they didn't look too good. Um, I think I'd rather just have Paradise Druid instead of them, honestly. I think most of the time, whenever we had those, we just wanted something to kind of help accelerate us. I think just taking those out, playing Paradise Druid instead, gives us 10 things to do on turn two. I like that more. Repudiate actually was pretty clutch for us. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of Hydroid Crisis, Agent of Treachery, Gadwick. Countering those activated, tr activated and triggered abilities was pretty awesome. So yeah, Repudiate was pretty clutch. And then our, I liked our top end. I liked our top end being these cards. These cards were, were all real good. I kind of liked not playing Cavalier of Thorns and not... Basically, we have like this super top end, but then our curve's not too high because we're not playing a bunch of fives. You know, we don't have like eight five drops and then all of these top end cards. I kind of liked that, honestly. I thought that we were going to miss Cavalier, but we didn't really. I wouldn't mind more counter magic. Basically, I don't like Spyglass whatsoever. I would I would take out Spyglasses and I would play more Negates. There's a lot of those matches, not a lot, but there's some of those matches where I wish we had more Negates. Like against the adventure person, for example, our one loss could have definitely used more negates. Mystical Dispute's just not a hard counter spell. I, I think I like negate more for the most part. But I, that's just me. I don't like Spyglass at all. Yeah, because either we're gonna we're either trying to replicate the Risen Reef and copy Risen Reefs, or I guess we could replicate the Asian Treachery. But then, yeah, repudiate. As far as what did it hit, we hit um, Hydroid Crisis, drawing a bunch of cards. Gadwick, drawing a bunch of cards, and we also hit Agent of Treachery, trying to steal our stuff. But yeah, you can also just get you know like Fable Passages and things like that. We we did get a a Beanstalk Giant that was copied because of Lucky Clover. We kept them from ramping a second time with Beanstalk Giant once. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you actually really need Lovestruck Beast, to be honest. It's it's definitely good against Gruul, just being a good blocker there against Gruul, but I don't, even, I don't even know if I brought... Yeah, I guess I did bring it in, didn't I? Yeah, I brought it in against Gruul. I'm fine without it. There's just not like red ac like mono red aggro. Like it would be great against mono red, but there's just not really that in the format too much. Yeah, the the land was okay except for I told yeah, I said take take out a blast zone and play a ninth forest instead. I think just having the one the one blast zone's fine there. Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, you don't have quasi duplicate, so you played this instead. And this was honestly was was really good for us. It was actually better than what quasi duplicate would have been because the repudiate um, came up really clutch for us a few times. Circuitous route is definitely an option. I don't like you could play circuitous route instead of Mu Yanling, basically. If you want, if you want something for like this, could be circuitous route. That's definitely an option. Because I think, yeah, you were saying you don't have Mu Yanling, Ascurio. So, yeah, 
Yeah, you could go a circuitous route. Moo was pretty good. We sideward Moo out a whole lot. But she did just fine. You know, helped keep us alive. We got to ultimate Moo Yanling twice. We got two ultimates in six matches where we sideboarded it out all the time. So, like, that's that's good. Um, all right. So, there's Simic Ramp. So, we'll move on. So, we got best of one decks for the rest of the day. We got a bunch of fun decks you can see on the left-hand side. Those of y'all on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button over there. Leave the comments, all that kind of stuff. Um, but thank you so much for watching some Simic Ramp, and I'll see you for the next video.